What's going on everybody? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic coming to you from sunny Texas Motor Speedway. I know what you're thinking. Eric, we've, we've been over this. What the heck are you doing on the roof again after falling off uh, at Phoenix and breaking two ribs? It has been exactly 33 days since I fell off this roof, lost my grip on the ladder at the other race, went to the hospital in an ambulance, and yes, broke two ribs. 33 days recovering, almost almost five weeks, and they say at six weeks, you'll be healed, I'm getting better. We've got a lot more RVs rolling into Texas Motor Speedway, getting camped. I've got some neighbors on this side, but there's still one more spot right there. And by the way, being very careful up on the roof, I have a new rule, two hands on the ladder at all times. I have a beer in my hand right now, but I'm wearing my backpack, so everything goes in the backpack, two hands on the ladder, up and down every single time. That's my new rule, as well as this stupid foam hat that y'all hate so much, and that's why I continue to wear it, which saved my skull from cracking open when I fell off last time. <laughs> Hey, I will be uploading this video with some connected internet, guys. Check out the video description below for unlimited high-speed internet right here at the raceway. It's a beautiful day, the calm before the storm. That's gonna change. Yeah, this is the calm before the storm, everyone. We're gonna have some practicing going on, then later tonight we have the Craftsman Truck Series Night Race going on. And uh, just wanna show you my view here of turn three coming into turn four. I do expect some more RVs to fill in this general area right here later, but uh, they're working on the track up here at turn four. They were painting blue earlier over an old sponsor, I guess that didn't pay. So now it's just, that whole stretch is just blue with a white star, and they're uh, fixing some repairs up there, I guess, but yeah, this is a Texas Motor Speedway, my third track of the year, my third new track of the year, infield camping. There are going to be some changes, as there actually, there is no real fan zone ticket area in there. There's a fan zone in a garage area, but uh, it'll be a little different. Tonight, we're gonna start up here on the roof, and then we've got that giant screen up there. I might even, if we don't have neighbors down here, I might put up my projector too and tune into FS1 for the race. I don't know yet. I'm just, see the smile guys? I'm so happy it has stopped raining and it has dried out here at the track. We are actually going to have a wonderful weekend of racing here in Texas. I cannot wait to see what that ginormous screen is gonna look like. The largest outdoor LED screen on earth. Of course, because everything's bigger in Texas. Anyways, safety first, blah, blah, blah. Ooh-wee, what a difference sunshine and dryness can make out here in Texas. We're enjoying it now. Got the kitties over here. Got Opie and Terry in their playpen before it starts getting noisy tonight. They'll play with their toys. Actually, uh, earlier today, Opie even finally tested out the third floor of this little cat tent and he was really happy and content up there that's the that's the first time in a month i've seen him actually go up there i had to put him up there but still <laughs> good kitties and opie's got his harness on now we've been going on little walks a little bit nothing crazy the wind died down a little bit and i was able to put my flags back up although a few of them are they got some issues broken a little bit but but we're managing all of my flags, flagpoles. And this place is filling up. This this spot's still empty right here, but on the other side over here next to the wall in turn four, we got more RVs. So it is filling up. It's definitely filling up for tonight's race. I'm cooking some chicken. Chicken. I figure I might as well just cook them fresh instead of cooking the whole batch and then microwaving them up later. I'll just cook them fresh a little bit at a time here because uh, we don't have to put the grill away each night and get back on the road. We are uh, parked here, so might as well, right? Can't barbecue every day. Oh yeah, my drumsticks turned out great. Do not throw them on the ground, Eric. Opie, how'd I do? Did I do pretty good with the chicken? Does it smell pretty good at least? Yeah, it checks out. Okay, thanks Opie for letting me know. Yes, I traded in the big hat. It doesn't get a whole lot of ventilation. It's kind of, 
it's kind of sweaty to wear that hat. I'm going to save it for Sunday's race, I think. We'll go with the smaller version for now that has better ventilation. Oh my. Don't do it, Eric. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, but that is good. That's some good chicken. We're going to eat some chicken today, Opie. We as in collectively, I'm going to eat some chicken. I'm going to show you me eating chicken. <laughs> Poor guy. I'll give you a little piece. Tear it too. Okay. I also got a couple souvenirs at the uh, infield souvenir shop specific to Texas Motor Speedway. Got me a new can koozie with Texas Motor Speedway established 1997. It's a new koozie and my third track magnet of the year, a Texas Motor Speedway acrylic magnet to add to my other two that I got from Phoenix and Vegas. So the collection continues for that. I love having two opposite cats. You know, one incredibly social, doesn't give a crap about anything, <laughs> noise, just not bothered by anything. And then the scaredy cat, Tara, who I had to put back in. She wasn't doing too well out here. She was getting scared of every little noise going on. Poor girl. So you're going to stay inside for the rest of the day because you're a scaredy cat. And I want you to be comfortable, okay? <laughs> it's okay, it's just the door. <laughs> Poor girl. Opie, your, your sister's traumatized. She's she's terrified. <laughs> Get it? Terrified. <laughs> uh, I'll let myself out. They got the blowers going on the track over here at turn three, which means we're getting ready. We're about one hour away. They're gonna finally spire up some uh, trucks and do some practice out on the track. Solar's working really good. Got up to 100% today. I do have a solar problem. I've been talking with Wayne trying to diagnose it, but the entire trailer system with the 750 watts up there that's plugged into a separate charge controller has failed. I don't know why I'm not getting anything out of it. I've, I've checked all the wires to make sure and I don't see anything wrong. So I'm a little confused about that, but even as it is with the 2000 watts in the roof of the RB, Bring it in. I think the most I saw today was 1,200 out of the 2,000. We're not in the middle of summer yet, so it's not quite peak high solar, but I'll take it. Like I said, we're up to 100%, so we're good. Oh, there's the dryers on the track behind me, if you can see them. It's just about time. Still nobody in this spot right here. I'm not gonna set things up right here, but just in case nobody shows up, got the projector screen ready to go for tonight's Craftsman Truck Series race. Want to walk around and check out some rigs and campsites. Let's go check it out. Of course, all of a sudden the wind has really picked up and I'm testing out a new microphone here on my Sony ZV-1. It's, uh, it's compatible and automatic. I don't know how well it's doing in this wind. It is a very, very windy here in Texas right now. Very windy. I don't think it's gonna hold up to the quality of my shotgun microphone on my GoPro, but we'll see. It is what it is. We definitely have a Hendrix Motorsports team followers here. 24, 5, 48. They have named it the Chuck Wagon here. Yep. And I've been noticing that a lot of people buy three sites and then do this little horseshoe type of thing so they have more room. Actually, that's four sites and three rigs. That's one way to do it, right? Lots and lots of schoolies, guys. Here's a Chase Elliott, which is Hendrix Motorsports here. Love that schoolie, that's awesome with the flags waving up there. There's a schoolie over there. Here's two more schoolies right here. Heavy generator users though, they don't have solar, so they are definitely bringing gas for their generator. But a pretty cool deck up there. This one here has been turned into a double decker raised bus with two air conditioners on top and a deck on the back, that's cool. Now the owner of this raised one has invited us to come in and take a quick peek here. I've never been inside a raised roof schoolie here. Let's go check this out. Roxanne ISD Rockets. Okay. Oh, that's cool, it's still got the old toll booth here where you put the coins for the bus. Wow, this is really neat. It's the open floor plan here with a bar at the back. And look how much room is in here. It's uh... This is great. 
Well, I'm a little guy, but yeah, you don't reach the ceiling. <laughs> You're about my height. That is awesome, yeah. though. Yeah. And you're not even using the fans today because it's nice uh, and cool outside. Oh, you don't have it running. Okay. Run. It's so, not bad in here, though. It's a rolling karaoke bar is what we got uh, here. karaoke yeah. bar? We'll be doing it later on, right about Okay, sunset. man. I'll bet yeah. you stop by. That's yeah. awesome, man. Stop by. We'll have margaritas. We'll have shots. We'll have fireball. We'll have all types of crazy stuff. Beautiful build, man. Yeah. Cool guy in there. I'll be back for karaoke. I showed him that uh, about an hour ago, live, I posted his bus on my Instagram. You guys will see this the next day. Well, yeah, there's there's more buses and schoolies. A couple people haven't shown up to these spots right here, but I uh, want to also point out, like Vegas, they have a hill up there. And those sites up there are $5,000 for the weekend with full hookups up there. $5,000. Good shot of the Big Hoss TV. After the race tonight, they're going to be doing a movie tonight where you can tune into an FM station to hear the audio later. For reference and transparency, my site here in the infield along the interior was $450 for the weekend. Week? Wasn't quite a week, but uh, I went to Vegas, Phoenix, and here at Texas for less than the price of one week at Daytona for the Daytona 500. So a lot less cost in price here. Oh, plus the $100 wristband, yeah. But Fan Zone is free, and we'll be checking that out tomorrow for the Xfinity and the Cup Series race on Sunday. Here's another beautiful red, white, and blue Texas schoolie right next to the big Haas TV screen there with a deck on top. It's cool that you have every walk of life here, custom built, handmade schoolies out of a school bus, and then half million dollar class A diesel pushers. Every walk of life here. You can also rent a porta potty for your site and pay for it for a cost. If your RV just can't make it for five days out here in Texas, that is, holy cow. Some people need some work on their boondocking. That's all I'm saying. Also, you know, solar's not big out here. You'd be surprised. Everybody around me runs their generator and I don't have a problem with that at all. I'm just pointing out just because I have solar and I don't need to run my generator, everybody around me is using it. I see that one's nice and quiet. That's an inverter generator. And then you have people who bring open frame construction generators and they never shut them off. That's horrible. Oh my gosh, this guy's got two of them. Just miserable. That's, that's bad. That's, that's not fun and it stinks. So like I said, even though I've got solar, I've still got to smell everybody else's generator fumes at camp. It's all good. Still a lot of space to fill in this area right here, which is gravel and not grass. And they've got some kind of a dart game set up for later. Look at all these puppies. What a nice little enclosure you guys got. Hi guys. Wow. All right, enjoy the race guys. Let me throw some beers and an extra battery in my backpack. We'll go up on the roof and check out the first practice laps for the Craftsman Truck Series. Yeah. All right, we are moments away from the first truck practicing on the track right behind me right now. I've actually grabbed the uh, big dumb hat once again. Even though it gets hot up here, there's a surprising, it's a lot of shade. You see my whole face, my ears are very shaded because it's so big and stupid and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> also, the screen over there is on. Not just showing the Texas Motor Speedway logo, but actually showing what it can do in full sun here at the track. So that schoolie over there doing the karaoke, he's got the whole race right there as part of his infield ticket. So that's something to consider about Texas Motor Speedway. You might not need to get a grandstand ticket. Your $450 infield ticket, you've got a screen right there. You can watch everything going on around the track and then when something happens, you can look at the screen, see the replays of the wrecks and stuff. You don't even have to bring a TV up on the roof, which is cool. Cheers, guys. We are one minute away. That first truck's supposed to fire up his engine right over there on the front stretch. Soon. Oh, that helicopter is, is he gonna land in here? I think he is. I didn't know we had a, a helipad here inside the infield, but I guess that makes sense in case there's an emergency, right? Yeah, it looks like he's trying to land in the infield, right? Yeah, it looks like it. It's really windy though. It doesn't look like it on the camera, but it is really windy. And yes, he is landing in the infield. Huh. 
Yeah, we're delayed. It's 310 now, so uh, they have postponed truck practicing. Must be some kind of an emergency going on. Wait a minute. I hear something coming over. Turn two. Down the back stretch. There it is, the first truck. Plans have changed. We're not going to be watching the movie tonight. We got a gray wolf pulling in. We got neighbors officially here. All right, we're doing qualifying one car at a time for tonight's race right now for the Craftsman Truck Series. There's just nothing like it at any other track so far that I've been to. I love this experience when the weather's nice. This screen up here is incredible. It's, it's all you need. I don't even need the projector tonight. You just look up here. They've got uh, number 66 Jones currently in first place after what, six qualifying truck series drivers. So we got a ways to go today and then we'll be racing almost right at dark tonight. Yeah, yeah. My neighbors are really cool. Actually, I've got awesome neighbors. So I lucked out. I really did. We're underway in Texas. Truck Series Race! Got my projector! Awesome. We're under a commercial break on TV, on FS1. Camp looks good. Even though two of my leaves and my palm tree don't work anymore. But yeah. interesting race actually like many other craftsman truck series races it's tough because Kyle Busch <laughs> as as a cup racer <laughs> how do I so like if LeBron James from while playing for the NBA decided all of a sudden that he wanted to start competing with high school players non-stop and just non-stop high school kids and then won every single basketball championship against high schoolers like what would that do for the sport um kyle bush that's not good for nascar none of what he's doing is good nobody here likes likes it liked it at all it's it just doesn't work for nascar and it makes me wonder why he's the only one who does this goes to the bottom of the bottom every week and plays against all these rookies and wins. And everyone's like, oh, he's so good. And then he plays, and then he races this Sunday too. And he sucks on Sundays every week this year, yet he beats all the rookies. And it's like, how is that good for this sport? It's, it's disgusting. It makes no, I don't care. You know what? Let's go to that karaoke bus. Well, it looks like the karaoke bus has moved. They're out in the road now with flashing lights. I don't know, let's go check it out. We're in the karaoke bus. Yeah, Roxanne. Woo! We've got the crazy wiggly man outside. Go down. All right, we got a full bus now. And we're still moving. Still moving. I'm not gonna lie. 
make it stop. Make it stop. I'll go. I'll go to church tomorrow. I'll I'll go to I'll I'll, I'll set my alarm. I'll go to church tomorrow. Just please, please make the pain stop. Please.